How we doing sports betters? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. I want to start by saying Merry Christmas to all you guys and we are on Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are all having a great holiday season. Um, Team Justin is always thankful for you guys and everyone that's here subscribing to the channel all the time. We, like I said, we really appreciate it. We're still pushing for a thousand subs. Um, we have been going at this for just about a year now starting in January. I think it was like January, middle of January is our first time we actually put out a video um, just talking with uh, Jimmy when he told me he wanted to start capping. Um, it's been a wild year, learned a lot. Uh, not only that, but we have been um, very consistent in hockey and have since um, branched out to college basketball, NFL, um, and all the other sports as well. I just want to say thank you guys. And like I said, on our year anniversary, all the subscribers, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing something special. And once we hit 1,000, we're going to do something uh, special for you guys as well. Um, yesterday, um, we didn't have anything going on today. But yesterday, uh, we had a we broke even on the day. Um, we had a Titans money line play with one unit. We had Titans three units uh, plus three and a half. Obviously, that covered it. They won the money line. Um, and then we also had the Florida Gators. Uh, four unit play uh, minus six and a half. Uh, Florida's down bad. Uh, they looked they looked awful. Um, their their quarterback can't throw the ball. There, I mean, I just that program is in such shambles right now. It's hard to say. Um, I really thought they would come out with an interim head coach, play well for them. They didn't. Uh, thankfully, we were on the Titans. Like I said, money line and the points, uh, and we got the job done there for you guys. Um, tomorrow, Christmas Day. Everyone knows it's a huge day for sports. Everyone's gathering with family. Uh, they're hanging out. Uh, they're watching football. It used to be known for just like a basketball. I remember even as a kid, you know, Christmas Day, you're watching basketball. That's basically what it was. Um, now the NFL is slowly but surely um, getting themselves a Christmas Day game. And I think it's phenomenal. I love it. Um, there's nothing I love more than absolutely going into a food coma and then just posting up on the couch, watching a little pigskin. And the, we have two good games tomorrow, especially the late game. Um, I do. I, I hope the Browns can go ahead and get a lot of their key players back because that too has the potential. Like, in my opinion, has the potential to be a, a very good football game. I think the Browns have a phenomenal defense. They have the offense to keep up with the Packers. Um, I really want to continue to watch that game and see if we get anybody else clear to COVID protocols and could get in that game. Um, however, that late night game, that seven, I think it's eight p.m. Eastern. We got the. Um, Colts, who are absolutely surging right now, taking on the Cardinals, who have dropped their last two. But honestly, I don't think it's as bad as people think. I wouldn't start to panic yet if you're a Cardinals fan. Um, however, looking at this game, it's in Arizona. Obviously, they have – it's going to be wonderful weather. We don't have to worry about that. Um, but there's one thing that I'm really looking at here, and I think it's something that I've, I've uh, really picked up on. I don't say I've I picked up on it, but I've noticed the last couple days, um, especially the Monday and Tuesday night games, all four of those teams had one team that just predominantly ran the ball. And then if you can run the ball well, you're going to eat up a lot of clock. You're going to limit opportunities for other teams. Uh, and with that being said, I think that fits in perfectly what the Colts need to do versus the Cardinals. Um, I'm not willing to say that which team I like yet. I'm still really kind of focused, um, drawn in on that game to see um, which way lines move with any players. But what I do know for a fact is that the Colts are going to have to come in they're going to have to run the ball, and they're going to have to eat up clock. With a high-flying offense, the way that the Cardinals like to just get up get up and down the field as fast as possible, this points is at 49. I know for a fact that Indianapolis it has good, solid defense, and they're going to run the football. This over feels like a lock to me. I think it's high to start with, which kind of makes me scratch my head. But I am all over the under in this game. I feel like Jonathan Taylor is going to chew up yards. Carson Wentz is hardly going to throw the ball. And they're going to slowly, methodically try to win this game. They might not win it, but the fact is that that's the style that they know they have to play is slow, limit possessions for the Cardinals, and they're going to have to play very slow football. Um, I'm going with the under here. It's more than likely. I I do love this play. I think a, a lot, it seems obvious, but you know, not all the time. If it seems too obvious, is it is it too obvious? I don't know. But in my head, everything that I've ran the numbers, looked at everything, this under is it. Um, that's my free play for you guys. If you can guess the free play score, you get a free week of Team Justin. Like I said, we're looking forward to you guys subscribing to the channel, liking the page, commenting that free play score. 
And if you go ahead and get it right, we'll give you a free week. Tomorrow, we have football, college basketball, and then on Tuesday, NHL starts right back up again. I am def definitely excited for that. Um, and hop on our Christmas package we have for you guys. Uh, you get that full day of sports. Good luck. God bless. Grind on and let's go.